You know, Satan could put thoughts and ideas into your heart and to your mind. Oh, really? I'm going to show you where he did that in the Bible. Hello and welcome to your morning cup of inspiration. And over in John 13, 2, the Bible tells us the evening meal was underway and the devil had already put into the heart or the mind of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. He put that in his heart. He put it in his mind. And, and Judas went and acted on that. It was up to him to either act on that or to turn around and deny it, go away from it. He had a free will, but he, on his free will, he acted on that. Now, there could have been many reasons why he did that. Maybe he thought that by um, having leading Jesus to the Sanhedrin, he can uh, plead his case to the high priest and then take his place on throne and, and be the, the savior of Jerusalem. Because remember, when he came into Jerusalem, they were all... People were there with palm branches saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, which in that time, Hosanna meant rescuer or savior. So they were looking for the savior. But getting back to where Satan can put ideas into our minds, he did the same with Eve in the Garden of Eden. He told her that, you know, it's all right to eat from the, from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, where God had said, do forbidden fruit, do not eat from this. And she went ahead and she ate from it anyways and suffered the consequences. Had a free will, though. She could have said no. Jesus had a free will when t uh, uh, Satan was attempting him uh, when he was fasting for 40 days. And he said to him, get thee behind me, Satan. He told him flat out. But not only then, he said it to Peter, too. He said over to Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. When Peter was trying to tell him, that, no, no, you're not going to be, we're not going to let them kill you in that. And he even said to him that uh, he said it again to Peter that he told he told Peter that he was a stumbling block to him. He said, get thee behind me, you're a stumbling block. And he didn't have the mind of the things of God, but the things of man. And that's what Satan will put into our, our minds and our hearts. The things of man, not the things of God. And it's up to us to say to him, get thee behind me, Satan, to turn and walk the other way towards Christ, towards God, towards what is right. We know what's right. You know what's right in your heart. I mean, God gives us a conscience for that reason. And listen, He's talking to us all the time. You can hear his voice if you listen. But that's what I wanted to stress today, is that Satan will put ideas in our hearts and into our minds. And it's up to us to say, get thee behind me. It's up to us to not yield to that, but to follow God, to follow Christ, and to do what is right. I hope that blessed you today. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. And for those of you that joined us last night, I hope you enjoyed it and had a good time. We certainly did, and we look forward to doing many more live broadcasts with you. Have a great day, everyone.